Um, but the idea here is, uh, okay, there's, there's a lot of ideas here. Ba basically, I've been pretty interested in Gorio's Vengeance plus Faithful Mending for a little while. Um, getting to play mostly at instant speed is pretty interesting, and I've been just trying to figure out if there's any way to, like, and Gorio's Vengeance is definitely one of, like, the most powerful cards in modern and seeing, like, basically no play. Uh, Jay Cook, thank you for the three months, appreciate ya. And so, like, kind of plan A is to get a Gristlebrand into the graveyard, Gorio's Vengeance it, draw 7, 14 cards, and then you ephemerate your Gristle Branch, just keep it around. And then when you do that, you have a lot of Griefs and Solitudes to draw into, and with your extra cards, you can uh, pitch cast these, and, um, and you know, just get to two for one yourself, which is, which is okay, because you have so many cards, just impact the board, and just be, generally become ahead. It's also true that you can also Solitude your own Gristle Brand to gain a bunch of life if you do miss on the Ephemerate, which is not great, but maybe it lets you do it again next turn. And so our first, let me look at, oh, they have so many rib subs today. Rashik with the nine months. Recon with the brand new Twitch Prime. Doc Prof, 25 months. Uh, happy. <laughs> uh, thank you for the good luck. Ooh, Doc, for the one year. Let's go. Okay, so let me just kind of, while we're here, we got a little bit of time. I do want to try to pull up the first draft of this deck I was messing with, but I don't, I, I don't see it. Hold on. So, like, if either of these cards were white, I would definitely play them, but, you know, they're not. Uh, this hand's pretty good. I don't think I'm just going to grief on turn one. I think it might be fine to do so, but Gorious Vengeance is definitely our, our best card. And I blank six months. So many resubs today. Crazy. What about in the other Ephemerate version? Uh, in the other version, you don't have the Priest of Fell Rights uh, in the deck. So, like, yes, I, I do like the Oda War a lot in there. I maybe added it, actually. We did. We, we've played, like, one Esper... Uh, Ephemerate League, I think. Sorry. I don't... Yeah, I've got the Oda War in here. So it takes one of the two Gorios Vengeances and then griefs the other one. Wow. Pitching Night's Whisper. Going to SCG Dallas Weeks for the must go food spots. Uh, well, one thing is you're going to be in Fort Worth, not Dallas. That's something a lot of people I don't realize. I think is that, that it's not actually in Dallas. Um, I don't. I don't know if I've got any like. There's a lot of like very good restaurants and stuff in Dallas and Fort Worth, but it's also like, like the reality is like the really popular ones are like super crowded, and I think they usually lose a lot of value. <laughs> um, I I don't know like. I don't, I don't have any, like, like a, a lot of the places, like, I also, like, really like to go when I used to go out a lot are closed now. No, Voidwalker. I can't, I can't imagine. How is my opponent possibly, could they have a better draw against me? Thoughtseize plus Grief into, <laughs> into the Voidwalker. This is just, like, ugh, so unreal. Um, yeah, like, a lot of the places I used to go before, uh, before COVID are closed now, too. So I don't have, like, a, <laughs> very many good recommendations. What deck is the play for the Super Qualifier? So that's something I'm not 100% sold on. I have Red Black Rock just kind of registered right now. I kind of, I, I kind of, I think for like the metagame I'm predicting, I think Red Black might be a really good choice. Um, I'm also like considering the Hail Mary Jeskai Lotus Field though, since um, I, also, I also think Lotus Field is going to be great against the metagame of Omnath. Oh, dude, and we drew a fast lands here, so we can't even hard cast the grieve. Uh, I, I, th I think, I think, uh, sorry, I think that deck may be good in the metagame I'm predicting of like Omnath, Titan, Hammer, Shadow, and then the new Saga deck that won the showcase challenge over the weekend. I kind of think Just Guy Lotus Field might just be the the hail mary way to go. Would you rate the list of Monterey Prowess? I, I liked it. I, I haven't made many changes. I think the list is, is pretty good as is. Uh, I guess I'm just going to take this and hope to draw a Solitude or Concede. Yeah, what an absurd draw against us. I just don't know what to say. <laughs> this Red Black deck's really good. We lost to Pascal Bernard playing it in the Showcase Challenge this weekend. I think I want to bring in the dam. I want, you know, I want mostly creature removal because their graveyard hate of choice is uh, Void Walker. So I might also bring in the second copy of Collective Brutality. I think I'm going to go 
down on the griefs and maybe I'll play a couple to fairy time ravelers. Maybe. Yeah, I think this I think I like a couple to fairies here. Do I consider Murktide? Well, Murktide just has such a miserable Omnath matchup that I'm, and, and it has a bad control matchup too that I'm not like really like super enthused about choosing control at the moment, to be honest. I don't think it's a bad choice, but I, I think that it's, uh, doesn't feel like the best choice to me. Why not Kessie Mending in a turn? Well, my opponent's got a Voidwalker in play, so I'm like mo m much more hoping that I can top deck a solitude or or, or or like top deck solitude pitch the mending and ephemerate there um and like you know the, the like or like before that draw another answer to the void walker so i can unlock the mending okay this is an island i'm gonna keep i don't want to mulligan very aggressively in this matchup not considering total storm i haven't gotten like any reps with it <laughs> What was the new Saga deck over the weekend? Well, it wasn't necessarily super new, but there was a, um... Uh, it's a gr green-black Saga deck. Won the, won the Showcase Challenge with four Liliana of the Veil, which is pretty exciting. I've definitely been a, a staunch Liliana defender. Um... Is Rhinos a good deck? Rhinos has been a good deck. You just don't see it in the leagues very often. But, but Rhinos has been a good deck. Ooh, Ragavan. I guess we damn the Ragavan... It's like really bad if they have a void walker, but we do maybe we can maybe solitude the void walker. Okay, so again, we're playing a showcase challenge super qualifier in two hours and fifty minutes. It's gonna be it's gonna be a weird stream today, but um, I actually think I might. I think I talked myself into the Jeskai Lotus Field deck. I don't know. I just keep looking at the Jeskai Lotus Field deck and feeling like it looks great here. Great in this meta game. I need to. I need to. I, I bought the all. I bought the all access pass so that I could uh, multi queue. Make sure everything looks good. Uh, yeah, everything. Every time I look at this list, I'm like, dang, this list just looks so clean. And I feel like it's great against Omnath, Titan, uh, Hammer Time, Shadow, Cascade decks, <laughs> and the Saga and like the Black Green Saga deck. Just like literally everything I would expect to play against uh, today. I think we're going to switch there. Okay. They grieved my J, so we're just going to pass back. What about the Will Smith Oscar Gala thing? I think you, you should have hit people. <laughs> well, you, I don't know. There's, I guess there's situations to hit people. That didn't feel like it. I definitely should have played Martial Arts, though, because of Blood Moon. That was a big mistake. Do not get got by it, though. Aspiring Spike? I don't think you should hit people, man. That's my uh, my hot take. Staged or not staged? I don't fucking knows. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not like really into the whole celebrity gossip thing. I I would say that like it, it is like I feel like it's just kind of like a lot of people's reactions when these kind of things happen though to like always assume that they're staged. Well, I get all my basics, but it it does kind of stink that I I can't hard cast this solitude anymore. I don't know. Every, everybody always goes ah it's staged, but. I don't know, like, <laughs> these are you know, people that are very much capable of making goofy decisions like this. Awesome Seeker. Yeah, I was on the Humans of Magic podcast this weekend, or this week, and uh, I think the interview turned out really well. Yeah, I'm not sure if this matchup is just horrendous or what. I mean, I, maybe, I think this red-black HGA deck is also really good. Yeah, I saw the uncensored version, too. I right, just need them to, like, not have an impactful play here, but... Could be asking for a lot. Okay, Fury. Well, if I could draw Goria's Vengeance off the Mending, we're in business, potentially. Okay, we are in business, potentially. Go discard... Fountain. No, I'll discard Priest Grissobrand. And then we Gorio's Vengeance of Grissobrand. And then we're not going to be able to... 
We're not gonna be able to ephemerate it because there's a Magus in play. Oh no, we could ephemerate it if we solitude the Magus and draw ephemerate. Okay, so yeah, I think, obviously just start off by drawing seven. So now we can solitude two things. We could also, yeah, let me go ahead and play this untapped before we solitude anything. I'm just trying to think, of, I, I'm gonna go ahead and draw seven again. Okay, we did find an ephemerate. So, I have a couple options. I can potentially just ephemerate my own Gristlebrand so that I don't die to a Lightning Bolt, which I think is a kind of a good option because I didn't find a Grief. I could also I could also flashback Mending, but then I can't ephemerate this. Okay, so let's just start off by going Solitude, Pitch to Fairy. Exile the Magus, and then Ephemerate the Solitude, Exile the Fury, and then I think we go Solitude, Pitch, Mending, Exile the Ragavan, and then Ephemerate the Solitude, Exile the Gristlebrand. And like usually you would want to flicker your Gristlebrand to keep it alive, but I think we're so ahead here that I'm just kind of okay to um be at 10 with you know a bunch of cards in my hand awesome pretty exciting so updated cyborg guy for lotus field there there is one yeah on channel fireball i think i'm not sure it is it is updated i don't know exactly how updated but it, it, it probably relatively yeah this this deck i'm really happy with how this deck came together i think it's pretty exciting And now I can just Priest of Fell Rights of Gristlebrand. Pass. I could also put a Jason to play. What's up? It's me, uh, your friend, Spire and Spike. Let me just go ahead, I think, and exile the Seasoned Pyromancer. And then... I guess... Yeah, I, I, sh I should also exile the token. But it's still attack for three. Oh. Is that lethal? Not lethal. Yeah, I think... Oh, we only have one Gr Gristlebrand in the yard. I mean, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> okay. All right, good game one. Good game one. I think I like our cyborg plan too. I'm just gonna resubmit for game three. Their deck's pretty scary though. Could you have gone return Jace, flip recast Corios? Yeah, but I'm not sure that, like, like, like just, I feel like that just kind of makes me tap two more mana for not a lot of, like, extra value there when I may be able to, like, use my mana on more impactful things. Not sure. You could do that, yeah. Okay, here we have two Goria's Vengeances and a Priest and two Discard Outlets, but no Gristlebrand yet, but pretty pretty good hand. Not very good against the turn one Ragavan. Although I guess now our, if if we get to keep our collective brutality, I'm gonna be pretty happy. Oh, I was definitely I was supposed to play Delta. Sorry, I keep not playing around Magus. But the, the playing Delta would let me uh, potentially play through Magus pretty well here. See if we, they have it. Oh yeah, that's right. I cited out the <laughs> cited out the stupid uh, <laughs> griefs. I forgot. Sorry, I only I only played like one practice league, so I'm gonna be you know <laughs> kind of figuring things out with you guys here. With the solitude triggers on the stack, second solitude. Okay, hold on. So they're probably gonna take my aggressive brand here. So my my Jace. Maybe yeah, maybe they'll take the aggressive brand. <laughs> That would be nice. With Solitude Triggers in the stack, second Solitude Exile, two there's Flicker, second target. I don't understand, I'm sorry. This just, this is a line of text. That way, six life, Solitude back is that. I'm just, I'm confused. Oh, Exile our own Solitude, so we have the Gristle Brand to play. That's maybe better. But I, I think both lines probably, probably win us the game. And they have Knight's Whisper, wow. I feel like they maybe should have Knight's Whispered first. I'm not sure. 
Okay, so I'm gonna Gorio's Vengeance my Jace. Oh, I can't flip the Jace though. Oh wait, hold on. So one, two, three. Oh, I, I can flip the Jace if I um. I can flip the Jace if I. Pitch Solitude here. Yes, yeah, so let's go. Pitch Solitude, Exile the Grief. The dream today, of course, and let me get a Swamp so I can play around Magnus. The dream today is to like this deck so much, I end up just YOLO playing it in the Super Qualifier. And now I, now I even beat a Discard spell. Modek, thank you for the five months, appreciate you. Do we instant? I think you main phase so we can uh, plus one on the Ragavan. The, t the PTQ is in like two and a half hours. Okay, this is fun. <laughs> Plus one, kill a Ragavan. The Ephemerate would have been a really nice card to draw, because again, that's how you keep your Gristlebrand in play. And they're griefing my other Gorius Vengeance, but I can flashback Vengeance on the Gristlebrand. How was that? Should you call I, I didn't go. Uh, the, the SCG in DFW is two weekends from now. I'm, I'm very excited for that. Oh, they hit the Ephemerate? Oh, man, that's right. That's really cool. Okay, uh, but we get to go Gorya's Vengeance. Vengeance or Grisselbrand. Attack. Yeah, I'm going to stream the PTQ. And I think I'm going to go and fetch my planes first. So I don't really want to... I guess if we drew up, we are okay. Okay, uh, perfect. Let's just ephemerate the Grisselbrands. Pass. I'm really excited about this deck. Maybe we should just play this. <laughs> a little early to say. We got time to think about it. Got a little bit of time. Um, could salt. Maybe I should have solitude the grief already. I think I'm okay to do that. Let's go, dude. After getting demolished game one, winning both cyborg games. Let's go. All right, so right now I'm playing. I'm playing Just Sky Lotus Field. I think Lotus Field is great against again, again Titan, Tron, Shadow, Hammer Time, the new Saga deck, uh, and Omnath. Just and Murktide. I think it's like very well positioned for this tournament. Um, but boy, is this deck sick! That um, I'm gonna keep this. Hopefully, they're playing creature based deck. I do think that um. Elvish Reclaimer is better in a green black shell than a Jun shell, but it's also like, like written in six, you just lose like, I feel like you lose like your most powerful cards, not with, without the red splash. And like, I'm not saying that uh, the green black deck isn't good, but I just haven't been convinced that it's better than Jun Saga, even though it won the, the, sh the qualifier. Urza Saga. Expedition maps. We're, we're playing against uh, Titan, it looks like. Um, probably an okay matchup, but, you know, it's definitely kind of stinks that we don't have a very combo-focused hands. What am I playing the other version? I don't think that I am. Like, I, you know, this is kind of something that happens a lot where I'll have a first draft that I think needs work. Like, that, that first draft definitely needed work, and then... I'll end up working on it, and it'll just end up being like an almost completely different deck from where we started. Flood, flood, flood. The rationale singleton bobbler. It's just a, it's just a Urza Saga target. Wish she goes higher at the top. Lotus to Reclamation. A uh, Reclamation. Reclamation has the the single best late game of any deck in modern, in my opinion. Okay, Chase, not too bad. What do you think of the Living In deck? Living In is a great deck. Great deck. Alright, so they have enough to Titan here. So this is where Legend of Tekken would be good. I think you could play Tekanuma over Silent Clearing. I just have issues with playing two lands in the deck that don't cast Priest of Fell Rights. Okay, I don't have I don't have a window to kill the dryad in response and, and stop them from getting the extra mana. Yeah, the 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 
the qualifier starts in like two and a half hours. Starts at uh, 12 p.m. my time. Alright, so I'm gonna hope they, hope they go for the haste lands here. I get to solitude them. They they should be a, a little if they if they get Simic Growth Chamber T West, that is three, six. Yeah, it's not they don't have enough to transmute and cast, do they? I don't think so. Do they need three? Yeah, the Jundling didn't go that well this weekend. I don't know, it was kind of you know, I, I feel like I played pretty well this weekend, but it was just one of those tournaments. You got Growth Chamber, Castle Garenbrig. <laughs> I think I think that we this is not something to feel very good about. They got Castle Garenbrig. We're dead. We're so dead. Takanuma does cast priest. Oh, sorry. I thought I think you would play Odawara over Takanuma. Um, I think Takanuma is just like kind of generally pretty slow. And and Odawara. I thought we were talking about that one. But but Takanuma also has the same problem where it doesn't cast Faithful Mending. Right, and so like you already have a basic that, does, that you have you have a swamp that doesn't cast mending, you have an island that doesn't cast priest, and so like I'm I'm really hesitant to play like another land that does that doesn't cast these cards. All right, Titan's a Titan's a good deck, huh? That's a good modern deck over there. I'm gonna bring in the thought seizes, the marches. Um, gonna cut the obsidats, and I might just cut the endings too. Ending's not too bad. Maybe I'll play one ending over the Brutality. I don't like, I don't like the Brutality that much. Why the Rock Dick play three Crusader the sideboard? Yeah, I'm not really sure. I like Crusader's a really strong card. Like, but I, I I'm not like I guess like that's like their Murktide sideboard plan. Do you have the Lotus list of Lotus Field? It's in the Stream Decker. All, all the decks are in the Stream Decker. You have to do a little bit of digging. I guess I can also just like put it to the top real quick. I I just I feel like every time I look at this, uh, oh, well it says it's already in the stream decker, but every time I look at it, I just feel like it looks so good. Um, I think we keep this on the play. It's it's obviously like needs some help. We do have like a lot of card selection, and we're on the play against Titan, which is a matchup where our um, Jace is really likely to live. Is it ending the literal best card in your deck for this matchup? Uh, nope. <laughs> it, it's not. Ending is good against exactly Amulet of Vigor. Um, which they do have here, of course. But, uh, I would say that Solitude and Grief and the Gristlebrand combo and March of Otherworldly Light and Thoughtseize are all better than ending against Titan. You want endings for amulets? I mean, everybody, everybody's like, Spike, you want endings, but nobody will ever say, Spike, this is the card that you're going to play over all, all, play three more endings over in your combo deck. Oh, they're not them. <laughs> Spike, you're gonna want those endings, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tell you how to get them in there, you know? <laughs> Wait, they had it? Oh, they just threw it off the explorer, okay. Okay. And I even kept I kept an ending in. I kept an ending in. <laughs> Alright, let's mending. I well, I guess I gotta think. Am I gonna kill Dryad? Just exile Dryad this turn. I mean, I'm just dead if they have a Titan, no matter what, right? But if I have Mending, I can find a Solitude or, like, Grief Black Card or Thoughtseize. I think that upside's higher than just, like... You know, anything else I've got going on. Well, Priest is kind of slow here, but that's what we got. So that they're a little flooded. Oh, they're not even that flooded because they've got the turn timber symbiosis. <laughs> yeah, just need your cell of Runa. Okay. Just tighten things, I guess. Feels bad. I don't think that matchup's got can't be that bad. We've got Grieve Solitude and then the combo's pretty good, but man, man, like when Titan just draws wild, it's just such a nightmare. Okay, so we could keep this hand on the strength of Solitude Ephemerate. We did the last game and it didn't work out that well. 
I think I'm gonna try it. I think you're supposed to keep these hands, but I'm not sure. Okay, and now we're gonna grief ephemerate. <laughs> uh, token is only it's only for like uh, it's it's not that much longer at this point. It's maybe like ten days left. So you, you it's usually best to get like max value out of it by you know getting it the day it comes out. Okay, so I'll take the spell pierce and then ephemerate. They're going to opt in response. Yeah, it is a Saitama mug. Esther's best friend gave it to me a little while ago. Uh, I'll take the march, I think. Well, if, if, if I guess I'm probably okay with them marching my grief next turn, pitching both verdicts. So I guess I'll take the Teferi. And then I can even ephemerate the grief in response if they do that. So then it is a uh, march verdict. Mystery card. Alright, take the march. And draw step ephemerate, I think. <laughs> nice hand opponent. Would be a shame if uh somebody started taking literally every card in it over and over again. I could go after their verdicts here. I think it's better to go after a counter spell. They also don't have the fourth land for the verdict. The verdict's also, you know, not that good on this board. I'm gonna go ahead and cast a mending. Okay, I guess we'll discard Solitude, Swamp. Just hard cast the grief. Last card is probably like almost the worst possible. Maybe not that, but not great here. Okay, let's flash back the mending. If we draw if we draw land gristlebrand, we get the gristlebrand. Okay. This card Jace uh coast. I can I can get the Jace back with the Gora's Vengeance and flip it immediately. Ooh. Uh so I can Gorio's Vengeance Jace, flip Jace, Gorio's Vengeance, Gristlebrand. Seems worth. Obviously, they could have drawn a counter spell. Uh, that's okay if they did, though. Okay, so now I can Gorya's Vengeance from a hand and then flashback Ephemerate with the Jace. Although I guess I guess they're just dead. <laughs> they're just dead if they don't have anything. Okay, that's pretty good. Are these? Cards, arts by choice. Uh, yeah. I've got the all access token, so I, I did choose the arts for today. If you, uh, don't like the arts, you can take it up with my manager, Esther. I might have too many cards for this matchup. <laughs> Good problem to have. D Sign, think with the five months. Appreciate you. I think I'm gonna cut the Obsidats. Um... Maybe I don't play these brutalities. They, brutalities are fine though. Oh, sorry, I messed, I messed up on the. Okay. Failed on the selection. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the Secret Lair Gristle brand. So I'm trying to think. I th I think that I want ending as my answer to Rest in Peace, but March does XL Rest in Peace at instant speed, which is maybe more relevant, but this does it for less mana. No, it, in the ending answers rest in peace. Like I think I think you need like four answers to rest in peace. I think I might do two two split of ending march though. I think four answers is a good number. Um, plus the discard spells. And I think when we cut the solitudes, we can trim and ephemerate. And then it might actually just be the answer to not play the brutalities because we have eight other discard effects. As weird as it is, I think that this is the, these are the cuts. I like Upside Up more than Vitality. Well, I mean, we're cutting both of them, I think. Uh, Ice Moon to 19 months. Appreciate ya. I don't like this hand very much. It's definitely a hard matchup to mulligan in. My opponent's gone ahead and gone to 6. So I think I'll keep this, since, like, there's, like, a decent chance that they are just trying to mulligan to Rest in Peace, or that they see, like, a medium 6-card hand, and they're like, any 5-card hand with Rest in Peace is better than this hand, and they end up keeping, and we get to Prismatic ending their rip. 
Good draw, good draw. I'd like to officially submit a complaint about the card art choices. Yeah, we'll get Esther in here to uh, filter all the complaints. We're getting a Teferi bouncing here. Yeah. Probably gonna save the ending for now. I don't think I'm just gonna slam the ending on the Teferi. Don't love uh, keeping a kind of land heavy handed flooding a bit though, but if we can untap with the Jace, then it's not gonna be as big of an issue. Awesome. Okay. Fire off a Thought Seize. Funeral Charm to discard Gristle end of their turn. Well, the thing about this deck is you don't want to gore his Vengeance Gristle Brand until turn three so that you can ephemerate it. All right, I'll Prismatic I think that's a fairy, and if they have, if they top deck rest in peace, they top deck rest in peace. Um, you you want to you want to gore his Vengeance on turn three so you can ephemerate your Gristle Brand usually. So I like, and then it's also like, you also don't have to put Funeral Charm into your deck. <laughs> um, so I, I yeah I, I think that uh. Those kind of suggestions are like a little lost in the sauce, you know. March my Jace, fortunately. Three cards in their hand though. I lost my discard outlet for this Crystal Brand. I guess we're gonna sack the Silent Clearing. And I guess we're gonna draw a really good card. They could have another counter spell up, but obviously just jamming this here. Uh, and it resolves. Gonna go draw a card immediately in case they have an ending. Ephemerate. Yeah, just need to find a discard outlet. Feudal Charm kills Ragavan. Yeah, I mean, that's obviously a selling point for it, but I also think this list is really tight. There's, like, not a lot of room. <laughs> so, if you're gonna suggest adding a card like Funeral Charm, I'd, I'd also need you to suggest what to cut. I guess it would be, you could play one Funeral Charm over the Collective Brutality. So I'm gonna do your homework for you. Um, probably just get a planes here. Okay, maybe maybe islands better. I only have one blue source. Main phase draw two. Come on, discard outlet. No. I might. I think I'm gonna play this though, and plus. And this is just like a lot better against the colonnade. We need to draw mending, thoughtsies. I decided out all my solitudes. Now we lose our teferis. Right, a slow discard outlet, but we can protect it with the ephemerate potentially. Oh, and I guess I guess we actually really want them to counter this. Best case scenario is they counter this. <laughs> How can one streamer be so lucky? <laughs> I guess I should flash back the vengeance here. I, I, let me see if I. Oh, I don't have another untapped white source. Oh, that's actually a disaster here. Yeah, I, I was just kind of double checking. Um. Trying to think. I might just pass after griefing. I don't actually think I don't want to draw another seven and go down to nine, get hit by the hall, especially when I just have another Gristle Brand that's going off next turn. Oh wait, I need I need to Gristle Brand again because I need to I need to go to discard. Okay, I need to take this dress down too. Yeah, I need to Gristle Brand again because actually I have to go to discard. I was hoping I draw another grief, but I didn't. Okay, so we're gonna discard Gristlebrand, Marsh Flats, Priest, 
Don't want to get two gristle brands in the yard here. Um, five. I can I can hard cast one of them. So I think I'll just discard two priests. And then I'm not sure how many more cards I need to discard. So fairy seems pretty good. Probably discard a courtyard. <laughs> We will discard the Grizzly Brand then. Just kind of hope they don't top deck the rest in peace. Finks, thank you for the nine months. Appreciate you, buddy. Wow, they're just going to haul the Storm Giants, me? So what was it? That's not what I was expecting to have happen. I mean, I wasn't, like, super happy. Discard Jace to Gorya's back next turn. Yeah, that could be the line. It could be the line. Okay, so I think we go to Fairy. I know their hand is Snapcaster Mage, Archmage's Charm, so. Oh, I should I should have played the Teferi. I should have played Teferi before plusing the Jace, because now now if they flash in their 2-2. It's a bit awkward. I guess not the end of the world. Spike, do I think Will Smith is right? I don't think you should hit people uh, for like disagreements. <laughs> I don't think you should assault people. Um I, I also, like, you know, Will Smith also definitely is putting off, you know, I'm going through a divorce energy <laughs> that I'm unfortunately all too familiar with. I should play my Flood Strand. <laughs> Not that I'm divorced. I've just seen it many times. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. I don't think you should have people. It's not a really hot take, is it? Yeah, I'll just let this go. Kill them next turn with the Vengeance. Why not kill my opponent? Um, how could I have missed... How, how did I miss Lethal? His wife has a fish that affects her hair loss. Listen, he's a... I, I don't... I'm not saying that... Uh, uh, Chris Rock's uh, joke was in good taste. But I, I am saying that you shouldn't hit people. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, there are, there, there's maybe a time and place, but, uh, this didn't seem like it. What's my take on Esper Reanimator in this new meta? Well, this is, seems like an interesting new version. I think that, uh, there is a lot of graveyard hate at the moment, which is kind of an issue. But I, I also do think, like, you know, Goria's Vengeance being instant speed actually does help you play around it a little bit. Okay, Sand is theoretically a turn three Gristlebrand with Ephemerate up. So we're playing against Affinity, which is probably a good matchup for this. Um, I, I would love to grief Ephemerate on turn one. I'm just trying to think. Deep Goose, take it for the tier one. I'm, I might I might grief Ephemerate on turn one here. Just pitch the Gristle Brand and hope to draw another thing to reanimate. I think I think that I think just because of how slow the turn three is here, this is probably correct. So obviously kind of close. Like if, if I, it's in you know if, if it, I'm not hundred percent sure that they're playing affinity, but it looks like they are. So here I can go take frog might, take spring leaf drum, or sorry min might take spring leaf drum, and then I could also just go for there. I could I could take thought cast, thought cast frog might take thought monitor next turn. That's probably a bit better. Want to pitch the priest because my the priest is my payoff. Like the priest is like so good with the mending and the flashback mending. Maybe maybe, maybe you are right. I I, I that, was, that was at least my thought process. It's like we're just like really likely to find a a thing to reanimate, even if that thing is um just like a incarnation. Got the modern videos help me understand the meta overall format. I'm glad you liked them. Appreciate that, Goose. Alright. Do you need to find something? 
<laughs> that qualifies, baby. That's something. It's not quite a gristle brand. <laughs> But it's probably gonna be good enough. You should have the, the the priest on Earth later. Got more mendings. All right, they drew a companion. I thought they might have. They probably should have left this back to double block the opposite that. <laughs> Definitely a tough spot for them though. Solitude's an interesting draw. Uh, I'm just going to attack for 8, though, and then... Yeah, opponent didn't, doesn't know the Grief has Menace. I think it's the first deck you play with 4 Priests. I have played 4 Priests before. Um, if, are you asking, like, why the Priests are on the deck? Because I can answer... <laughs> but I, I have I have played 4 Priests before, but I, I, I guess I don't necessarily understand the question. Uh, but in this deck, I really like the priests. Um, hold on. The beginning of your upkeep. Okay, so I could just go discard, discard, ephemerate, and stack the triggers so the obs that comes back before the rebound and kill my opponent. I want the ETB triggers. Uh, in this deck, you know, I think that you need redundancy to your Gloria's Vengeances. Obviously, Vengeance is the better of the two reanimator spells, but I think having that redundancy here is really important when you're, like, much... You're much more of, like, an all-in combo deck in this... Or maybe all-in combo is a bit of a stretch, but this this is this list is more, I feel, like a combo deck than the Esper Ephemerate reanimator, which is okay just, like, spending some time casting to fairies, evoking Moldrifter, um... You know, just making a bunch of value plays in that deck where this one, like, really wants to, really wants to assemble its combo. And then, obviously, Priest has always been a good option with the Griefs and Solitudes. Um, but it, it's also true that, uh, like, Moldrifter, I think, loses a lot of value in this deck where you have more card draw with the Gristlebrands. Um... And like 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 when you're playing when you're playing the Archon of Cruelty Reanimator, when your opponent answers your Archon of Cruelty, it is it is actually a problem. It is a problem when your opponent kills your Archon. But in this deck, if your opponent kills your Gristle Brand, you just got to draw 14 cards a lot of the time, especially if they solitude it, and then you can just do it again next turn. So like so like having the Mole Drifters is like less of an issue because of that. Because a lot of times like they'll answer your Archon, but you'll hard cast a Mole Drifter or something, and just keep just card advantaging. I don't know if that makes a lot of sense, but Moldrifter also doesn't work with uh, Goryeo's Vengeance. Like Moldrifter does look, work with Persist. Okay, we're gonna bring in these Stony Silences against the Affinity deck. I think we'll play the Dam as well and the March of Otherworldly Lights. We got the Collector Brutality and the Griefs, I think, and the Second Obsidat. Could play Second Obsidat over Fourth Ephemerate, but Solitude Ephemerate is just so good in this matchup that I think I won't. Often you thought these yourself. I, basically, never. I like as someone. I, not that I've played like a lot of this version, but as I, I've played the four thought seasons in, in the sideboard of of this deck, and I've I've played I've played thought in the sideboard of a lot of these variants, and it, it almost never comes up because like because like especially because like you just don't know if you're playing against a solitude deck or a discard deck or a counter spell deck. And it's just like just usually not something you want to do. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna just I think next turn go to discard on the Gristle Brand. I know this is really slow. Um, maybe it was just better to march the uh, Citadel. Okay, I guess we're not. I guess we're marching the Tormod script. Oh boy. Okay, maybe we're gonna try to march the Citadel and then draw into Stony Silence. That might be a better line. I think I like that line. We have three Stony Silences in the deck. As is deck deal with Leyline of the Void. Yeah, to Te Teferi Minus is your answer to Leyline of the Void. You bring you bring in all your Teferis against any deck that plays that you think plays Leyline. Leyline is also not that common. There's not very many decks that play it. Oh boy. Alright, come on, Stony Silence. <laughs> Probably taking an Allen game two here. Although it, it, maybe they don't have another land. 
Do you have another win? Alright, I'm gonna pack it in. I, I I could theoretically still draw Stony Silence into something, but they get to make two constructs. Pretty toast. Yeah, you could also, you know. <laughs> yeah, you could hard cast the opposite out, I guess. You can theoretically march of otherworldly light it. Um I really I do think that Jace is good in this matchup. It's pretty tough for them to kill. Put a cap seven, which is scary. Kind of free for the bean, I guess. <laughs> oh boy, what a sideboard card, huh? Yeah, Sturdy Science is so good at this deck. Just hate, getting getting rid of all your opponent's graveyard hate. I do have three, huh? Maybe I should mulligan more aggressively for it, huh? <laughs> Who's to say? Yeah, I'll play out a second Stony. Don't need to play around Pierce if I have blue mana up. Yeah, so Resonance does turn off the this is ability this this is this <laughs> a bridge's ability to tap for mana. I feel like my stutter has been coming back lately. Used to be like way worse when I first started streaming. I don't I don't I don't have like a super pronounced stutter, but I do have a I do have a slight one. Um I feel like it's been kinda of, kinda of bad lately. Alright, let's go mending. Discard, discard. So I'm fine. I mean, I, I yeah, I think that this is often the case where I'm like the only one that noticed it. Because <laughs> it's it's really minor. It's not like a huge, huge thing for me. Just keep digging, just keep digging. All right, probably gonna hard cast a solitude this turn. <laughs> okay, pretty good, pretty good uh, turn. <laughs> All right, enough stony silences deck. Let's uh, flash back to mending, I suppose. Uh... There we go. So I'm gonna play my land for turn. So I just need a white source so I can ephemerate my uh, my Gristle Brand here. Which is probably gonna be good enough, especially with, you know, Solitudes up and stuff. Assuming I'm not out of white sources. Okay, I still have one more. Came up earlier. Yeah, I remember when I was like first putting like the first draft of this deck together, which is really different from this version. But just like when I realized like that gr Gristlebrand like plus the plus the Ephemerate incarnation just like overlaps so well together, I I got like super excited. I was like, yeah, this, there's definitely something here. All right, so let's Goriel's Vengeance obs it at in response to the Ephemerate trigger. Although I guess I would just Ephemerate the Solitude. <laughs> okay, three and one, three and one. I, I like this deck a lot. I'm a bit worried that I'm just gonna convince myself to play it in the Showcase Challenge. <laughs> And get stomped because I think there's gonna be a lot of graveyard hate in the challenge. Maybe there's not gonna be. Uh, we lost the Titan. Lost the Titan. They had a really good uh, 
What are the options? Got 700 votes so far. What is that? one land, no land, no land? Brutal. Well, uh, at least like an easy. Oh no! This would be so much better if it were five cards. I guess I can put back the Obsidat. Brutal. And if this is burn, getting back Obsidat. Oh come on, getting back Obsidat would have been so good. I just have like I just have to keep these. I mean, there's a collective brutality, but it's like. Way worse than the mold of four. This matchup is probably pretty good though. We have a Jace Friends Prodigy on top. I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to shuffle that. Getting a Godless Shrine. I have a Priest of Fell Rights on top, which is not castable. Shoot. I think we have to do this. Take the skewer. Yeah, I mean, I think we've got a good matchup, but obviously we multi four here. Will this deck play a Triumph? I don't know, maybe. I feel like untapped lands are really important for lists like this. Okay, thank you, Goblin Guide. Um, all right, so let's go Mending, Main Phase. I think I discard Priest Mending. I could discard uh, Mending Fountain and then, no, they've got the, they've got the Searing Blades in the hand. Oh, sorry, I would I, I guess, sorry, I should play the Coast. It's correct to play the Coast. Okay, it's good for my mending draw. They're in a Searing Blaze mystery card. Okay, and that's a really good pickup. Um, let's, I guess, just main phase this. It's, this is good if I draw Prismatic Ending, but bad if I, if they drew Skullcrack, but if they drew Skullcrack, we just lose. We did find Prismatic Ending, but I think it's probably best actually to just pitch the Solitude here so that, um... I can stay at the highest life total. Okay, bolts me. Their hand is just a Searing Blaze. Uh-oh. We have Faithful Mending on top. It's actually like the perfect draw so we don't die to the Searing Blaze here. No, they killed it. They hit the Solitude. No. Oh, fuck, of course. I forgot. Ah, brutal. Brutal, 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 brutal. So, I was supposed to main phase the Solitude. Ugh. I really thought we were going to win on the Mold of Four. Yeah, I don't... I'm sorry, I just... I don't know why I forgot that they could do that. Okay, uh, I'll bring in the Marches as extra answers to Graveyard Hate and the Brutality. And then I think we probably go down on Jace's. We brought in an extra discard outlet. It's a bit light. We have six, seven, I guess with the Jace is probably fine. I just need to get that Goblin Guide value. They have Blaze Man up. Okay, sorry, yeah, if they have Blaze Man up, then this is fine. Is this deck better than Reanimator? I've I've liked this one a lot in my very limited testing with it so far. Um yeah, I, I, that, that's my current evaluation. I've liked it a lot. Haven't played that many matches, though. Prismatic Ending on top. I think I'm probably supposed to Mending this turn since... Um, I know we have to Fetch and Shock, but, like, Prismatic Ending answers rest in, is my answer to Rest in Peace, which is just so good against this hand, too. We have a March of Other really Light on top. So, like, I mean, obviously, like, if we saw, like, a uh, Goria's Vengeance, like, I wouldn't be shuffling here. So we get down to seven, then up to nine. Can you get a Fountain? Yeah, let's discard Gristlebrand Ephemerate, I think. 
Then maybe I'll just go ending the guide, play a tapped watery grave. So I might actually end up hard casting obs at this game. Let's see what happens. It's got five cards in their hand. I'm at nine. We got the mending to pad our life total a little bit, or the mendings. Second goblin guide though hits me down to seven. I've got a grief on top of my library. Okay. I think Grief Ephemerate is probably going to be correct here. I think I like doing this before casting the Mending since... Um, Boros Charm me down to three. Um, so now I could choose not to Ephemerate. I think that I'm almost definitely going to choose to ephemerate, but let me just cast the mending and see if I see something better to do. Huh. I mean, I guess I'll keep the Obstat as my last card. Don't love it. They've got no cards in their hand, no Luris. I get to block here if they attack. I can flash back these mendings, gain, gain life. Maybe just find lands to hard cast the opposite at. Maybe they draw another path and I get to hard cast the opposite at. I don't know. But Priest of Fell Rites on top. It's a really weird card here because I, you know, you lose three life when you play it. Yeah, of course the burn player is not playing Luris, huh? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Opponent suspends a Rift Bolt. Uh, I think I'm fetching here. I know I go down to a very relevant 6 life, but this does turn on the Hardcast Obs of that, potentially. And then I could also go up to 8 with the Flashback Mending, kind of looking for another land, potentially. Did find another land. So we're at 8. Rift Bolts can put me down to 5. So the opponent needs 2 burn spells here. Down to two. Down to zero. Negative one. Bummer. That matchup should be pretty good. It's okay to take an L, though. Uh, let's go ahead and run, run this league back. Uh, the list definitely looked very powerful here. Could have made... I don't think I could have... I don't think I could have won that game one if they had the mana up for the blaze. Maybe they would have missed it like I did if I main phased.